Hello, basketball fans. You've got it on 2K Sports as we get set to bring you exciting NBA action. Our game tonight featuring the Los Angeles Clippers as they go up against the San Antonio Spurs. Joined by Grant Hill, Steve Smith, and Ali LaForce, I'm Brian Anderson. And a look at the starters for the Spurs. Vassell and Johnson are the two and the three. Victor Wimbanyama is out there with Zach Collins. And it's Sohan in at the one. And for the Clippers... George and Kawhi, the talented forward pair. Russell Westbrook out there with James Harden. And it's Zubats in at the five. Rivalry games, Grant, always extra spicy, especially when they feature teams from the same conference. Ooh, I like a little spice. But remember, only one team per conference gets to the final. So that's going to naturally develop some rivalries here and there. So tonight should be a really competitive game. And the Spurs start out with the ball. Now here's Vassell. Collins outside. That three's off the mark. Now Los Angeles with it. And it's Harden. That time on the assist by Leonard. Nice vision from Kawhi Leonard. Scanning the floor and finding a ready shooter to feed. Vassell against Harden. Outside Johnson. Let's it go. Oh, a nice shot by Collins. Talented, driven. He puts constant pressure on your defense. You know, injuries cost Zach Collins a couple of seasons of his young career. But, Smitty, the talent is still intriguing. B.A., the 10th pick back in 2017, has a combination of size, shot blocking, and shooting. You don't get that every day. Left side, Wimbanyama. Sinks that one from the post. Yeah, attack mode from the start. Exactly what you want coming into this game. Get your better score, some easy looks, so they can start to establish themselves. And the basket by Leonard. The high IQ of Leonard. Phenomenal at recognizing when to attack in close. Harden against Vassell. With Vassell out there, there's a lot he brings to the table, Steve. Yeah, he can make a difference at both ends of the floor, and I know they like that about him. If he has an off night shooting the ball, he still adds value with his defense. Oh, Grant, it seems like just yesterday that the Spurs were drafting a generational big man. <laughs> of all the places for Wimby to go, the Spurs were ideal. It continues the line of elite talents to play under Pop. He'll learn from the best, and we're all excited to see what he can do. The first free throw is good. A lottery pick. Devin Vassell has turned into a big-time talent, someone who will be a force in this league for years to come. So he hits both. Just over a minute and a half played here in this one. George against Johnson. Kicks it out to Westbrook. Leonard looking over the floor. Tries it from the top of the key. They get the rebound. Zubats. And it's slammed in by Zubats. Good focus from Zubats. His guys appreciate the hustle. The Spurs have gone two of three from the floor. Pass to Sohan. And he banks in the layup. And setting the tempo with an assertive move. Like, where was the defense on that play? No excuse. You have to be aware. He should be on your radar all the time. Puts it up from 12. And the basket by Leonard. Leonard's got his second bucket on the night. Kawhi Leonard is a finals MVP, in large part due to that mid-range shot. He is automatic from that area. Here's Sohan. 121 left in the first quarter. Outside Johnson. Shot clock at three. 
Shoots over George. The shot by Johnson, no good. The defender took away the airspace, crowded him. That changed the shot. Leonard passes to Westbrook. Oh, it's blocked by Wimbanyama. Collins outside. Oh, Wimbanyama throws it down. Nice job. Those passes have to be right on the money around the painted area. Harden against Vassell. Leonard on the wing. George outside. First quarter of play and just over three and a half minutes in. Johnson with the defensive effort. Outside Wimbanyama. 11 seconds left to play in the first quarter. Offline from the top of the key. Outside Harden to the paint. Here's Leonard. And there's a whistle. He'll head to the line to shoot two. It's going to be on Victor Wimbanyama. Aggressive play from Kawhi Leonard. Drawing the foul and still taking his shot. Shooting two. And the free throw drops for Leonard. You know, when you have a guy like Kawhi Leonard, so much of what you do goes through him. You trust him. You trust his abilities. And Leonard drops them both. Money from the strike. He does a great job night in and night out. It's all tied in Los Angeles. And quarter number two will get underway just after this short break. That's some good action in the books as we get back to a game that's been pretty close so far here. And let's quickly break down the game we've seen from the Clippers guys. Well, a big differentiator was their ability to generate offense by pounding the glass. And you know this, most of the time, offensive rebounds generate high percentage looks. And so it's Highland with it. He brings it up for the L.A. Clippers. Well, if you're the Clippers, are you out looking for the next young star, Grant? Possibly, B.A. I mean, five of their top six scorers last year were over 30 years old. So they may need more production from your young guns to be a consistent contender. On the court for San Antonio here in the second. They've got Trey Jones, Jetty Osman out there with Doug McDermott. Then there's Wimbanyama, and it's Branham in at the two-guard spot. Tries again. Oh, great D that time from Powell. Now Los Angeles with it. And after this game wraps up, they're off to New York to take on the Knicks. It'll be the start of a three-game trip on the road. Oh, he misses the go-ahead basket. Here's Osman. Powell covers. It's stolen by Highland. On the break. It's Powell on the wing. Pass to Leonard. Shoots. Oh, rejected by Wimbanyama. Now Jones. And here in the second with about a minute and a half gone by. Here's Branham. Checked by Tucker. And the basket by Branham. Now Highland, yet to see a basket. Pass to Plumley. Here's Powell. Slam dunk by 
Plumley. And now that's a momentum builder for sure. So important in a close game. Look at his teammates here. They love it. Plays like that going to get them going. They're bringing the energy, the hustle, the fight, and they also didn't give up on that possession. Here's Branham. So, Grant, if you were a GM and you could choose one young player to build around, who would it be? Wow, that's a great question. I mean, B.A., I, I think you have to go with Victor Wimbanyama. I know he's a young fella. He just got drafted. But the upside is so huge for this young man. His talent, his skill, his size. He is the next iteration of Kevin Durant, in my opinion. And I would go with him. He's got a lot of runway in front of him. A lot of years to get better, get stronger, and to win championships. Time called here. Los Angeles decides to talk it over. A tough loss coming against the Lakers in their last game played. It's never easy to win games when you're missing free throws. They had to be better. Especially on the road. Each miss fired up that crowd even more. And a new group getting ready for the Clippers. Zubats, he's checked in for Plumley. Paul George comes in for Leonard. Harden, he's checked in for Powell. And it's Russell Westbrook in for Highland. So San Antonio going with almost an entire new group here. Sohan's checked in for Osman. Keldon Johnson comes in for McDermott. Vassell, he's checked in for Branham. And it's Wesley in for Jones. And down it goes. Two points. The battle of the boards has been something to watch. Vassell passes to Sohan. Here's Wesley. 56 seconds left to play in the first half. Down low. It's hauled in by the Clippers. And it's Harden penetrating. And it's Harden with the big finish. <laughs> Check it out. Harden putting on a show throwing down an acrobatic dunk. On the AT&T 5G slam cam, good looks by our terrific camera crew. Vassell passes to Wambanyama. Here's Wesley. Throws it up high! Wambanyama, no good. That could have been an easy pass and finish. Not really sure what went wrong. It started off looking good, but the timing was just a little off, and sometimes that's all it takes. Pass to Johnson. Wimbanyama up top. And that bucket makes him four for seven today. Good production. There's ten seconds left to play in the second quarter. George passes to Tucker. Takes a three. He drains it at the buzzer. What an ending to the first half. A buzzer beating three to take the lead. And a pretty tightly contested game here as we end the first half. The Clippers on top, leading by three. And we'll be right back after halftime for the start of the third quarter. See you in just a bit. It's the 2K Sports Halftime Show. It is a good game we have here after one half of play. Everybody, welcome back for our halftime show. Ernie Johnson, Shaquille O'Neal, and Kenny Smith. A pretty close game for the Clippers throughout the first quarter. Their field goal percentage was a robust 50% in the period. That's something they can hang their hat on. They gained a little ground there in the second quarter. And taking a look at the Clippers, Kenny, what did you see out there? 
Well, their success was largely about second chance points. Crash the offensive boards heavy in the first half. I love how they fight for every 50-50 ball like it's the last ball on earth. Shaq, what did you see from San Antonio? They were really efficient, great approach offensively. Their shot selection was first rate. They were always working hard to get good looks. That can't change in the second half. They need to be just as well organized as they've been so far. And that's a wrap. With the third quarter approaching, we now send you back to Kevin and the crew. And we're halfway through this one. Plenty of basketball left in a game that's been a fairly even one. Victor Wimbanyama really making a difference here. Through the first two quarters, he's been on fire. Explosive offensive performance. This is his challenge to continue to dominate, to help them try to close strong here in the second half. And the Clippers with the ball. Three-point lead. Ah, the golden years for the L.A. Clippers, Smitty. Those Lob City teams. Ooh, I miss those days, B.A. Chris Paul tossing up alley-oops to DeAndre Jordan and Blake Griffin. Those three pretty much won 50-plus games every season. And, man, were they fun to watch. George and Kawhi, the talented forward pair. James Harden out there with Russell Westbrook. And it's Zubats in at the pivot spot, manning the middle. So that's the lineup on the floor for the Clippers. The screener was leaning a bit right there. His feet may not have been planted. Pretty obvious call by the officials. So difficult to stay planted, especially with all the motion around you. Annoying turnover. Now here's Harden. Step back shot. It's hauled in by Wimbanyama. Vassell against Harden. Vassell outside. The three is up. Westbrook with the rebound. The shooter thought he had enough space, but the defender was right on him. The ability to close out on perimeter shooters is so important in today's game. All right, let's check in with Allie LaForce. Well, James Harden is not worried about his legacy. He said, quote, I'm going to be remembered in basketball. I'm one of the people who changed the game. Honestly, the only thing I'm missing is a championship. But Brian, he is not stressing. He said, the moment I stop having fun, I'll be done. Yeah, march into the beat of his own drum, Allie. Thank you. And so here are the Clippers. After the basket by San Antonio. Six to shoot. Westbrook right side. Shot from 16. It's hauled in by Wimbanyama. Wimbanyama's got five rebounds in the game. Here's Johnson. Count it. Good. The remarkable poise from the swing man. Johnson doesn't let some rough defense deter him from cashing in. And Smitty, even as his game has evolved, Keldon Johnson remains a spark plug. You know, he plays with so much energy. He has become more than a downhill scorer. He can hit the jumper off the catch or dribble and keep defenders honest. San Antonio calls timeout. Well, for the Spurs, Smitty, last season was their worst year since 1997. But it appears it was all worth it. B.A., in 1997, the injury to David Robinson saw them go 20-62. and 62. But their number one pick was Tim Duncan. This time, another potential franchise big man selected with Victor Wimbanyama.
And a new group getting ready for the Clippers. Plumlee's checked in for Zubats. Tucker comes in for Leonard. Powell, he's checked in for George. And it's Highland in for Westbrook. So San Antonio going with almost an entire new group here. Osman, he's checked in for Wimbenyama. Branham comes in for Johnson. Graham's checked in for Vassell. And it's Jones in for Sohan. Now here's Graham. Pass to Branham for the tie. Knocks down the long J. Branham's got five now. Good ball movement from Devontae Graham. Noticing the wide open teammate and getting it to him. Highland, the pass to Plumley. Collins with the rebound. And so it's Jones who brings up the ball for the Spurs. They'll take on the Pacers at Gainbridge Fieldhouse after this one. It's the second game of three on the road. For Los Angeles, they've got just two of six in the second half. Now here's Highland, guarded closely. Rebound San Antonio. Tremendous defensive effort, saving a bucket right there. You know what? This is why you never give up on a play. You don't know what's going to happen. Harden drives in, and Harden with the slam. Hey, look at this guy. It was like once he was in the air, he was staying in the air. It was just incredible. What hang time. Here's Osman. No points yet. That one goes in. Oh, what tremendous focus to absorb the contact and find a way there to finish. George, he's checked in for Highland. McDermott's checked in for San Antonio. Wesley comes in for Graham. Mind the lanes. Mind the lanes. One shot. And now they lead as the free throw drops in for him. We've got 22 seconds left in the third quarter here. Here's George. Jacks up a three, fires in the triple. I like how Paul George comes off the screen under control, right up into his shooting motion. Smooth. Three quarters of play and a close one here. The Clippers on top, they're up by two. And we're coming back in just a moment. Get ready for the fourth quarter when we return. And now let's listen in to Ty Lu in the huddle. Hey, we got to get more physical down the other end, man. We got to get some stops. If we don't get stops, it's going to be a long night for us. Focusing in on the physicality of the game, Coach Lu wants more aggressiveness. And it's understandable. Setting the tone on defense is critical if you want to get the win. Man, I know I speak for all of us when I say I can't wait to see what kind of finish awaits us here in the fourth quarter. And so in the game for the Spurs. Inside at the four and five, it's Sohan and Wimbanyama. Vassell and Johnson are the two and the three. And it's Wesley in at the one spot. The Clippers in the lead. Leonard with the ball. The layup off target. Every player goes through this. When your shots aren't going down, it can ding your confidence. Vassell passes to Sohan. Back to Vassell. Oh, and he got fouled on his way up. He'll head to the line to shoot two. Look at Devin playing big inside, not letting physical defense stop him. And breaking down some numbers here, the hustle stats for the Clippers. High effort, fast break plays. They have been very effective for them in this game. Generating a lot of points for them. Also, lots of hustle on the offensive end. 
following shots and creating tons of second chance opportunities. And that one falls for Vassell. And Smitty, a trend for the Spurs, playing fast. B.A., they get up a lot of shots. Problem is, the efficiency needs to be there. That was a hallmark of the great Spurs teams back in the day. The Spurs making a switch here. Collins checked in. Both good from the line that time. Looking back to last season, Smitty, the Clippers were as busy as anyone at the trade deadline. Well, they came into the season with high hopes, B.A., but midway through, they saw the changes had to be made. It didn't translate to playoff success, but they gave it a shot. Now here's Powell. Vassell with the rebound. Pass to Sohan. Johnson with it. George defending. The shot by Johnson, no good. That was excellent contest, preventing him from making something that's usually automatic. And the Clippers miss again. And for San Antonio, they're shooting 46%, a decent average so far. Here's Sohan. That one rolls around and rims out. The Clippers have gone 0 for 3 in this fourth. Not good. Here's George. And he'll draw the foul. He'll head to the line for two. Defense throws everything at George, but he persists and finds a shot. good from George. In my opinion, one of the most talented two-way players of this generation. Paul George has stayed humble throughout his success and has shown that he is willing to do whatever it takes to win. And that one goes in. Two from the line that time. Tight ball game. Who do you want at the charity strike? This guy. Vassell passes to Collins. And here's Wimbanyama. Vassell outside. Down to five on the shot clock. From deep three-point land. It's rebounded by Zubats. Zubats has got seven rebounds in the game. Powell passes to Leonard. Good D by Wimbanyama. San Antonio trailing here. Inside. Fades and shoots. And that one goes. He's shooting five of nine in this one. Yeah, great find from Sohan. This is why his guys like playing with him. And the Clippers call time here. Yeah, hoping to tap into something that'll get them clicking. Yeah, these guys need to work together as a team, as a unit. Try and carve out some easy buckets. Let's take a moment to present the New Balance player of the game, Victor Wimbanyama. Yeah, and it's not surprising. He's really going at the defense inside throughout the entire game. He's just showing the D no mercy whatsoever. They constantly were feeding him the ball, clearing out, and letting him do his thing. Tucker's checked in for Los Angeles. 
Harden comes in for Powell and keeping us updated from the sideline, Allie LaForce. During that last break, Coach Tyron Lue had some advice for the team. He applauded their shooting and their shot selection, saying, we're taking the right threes, not forcing anything. Keep doing that, and they'll continue to fall. Makes the game easy, doesn't it? Great work, Allie. Thanks. He's got to be mad at himself. You won't get a better look than that. Pass to Vassell. One twenty-five left in the fourth. Los Angeles has gone 0 for 2 from outside here in the fourth quarter. Here's Harden. Good on the 13th quarter. And the Clippers lead by two. Oh, can you say important bucket by Harden? James always wants the ball in these moments. Love it. Time called here. San Antonio decides to talk it over. They're down by two. A minute 15 left in the fourth quarter. against Tucker from nine feet. It's rebounded by Zubac. And so it's Westbrook who will bring it up for Los Angeles. The lead is two. Here's George. Pass to Zubac. Here's the three. Rebound San Antonio. It's tough to get open in this league. And when you do, it hurts not to capitalize. Tucker against Wimbanyama. Oh, wow! A huge basket to tie the game! Oh, whoa, whoa, that is as clutch as it gets. Big time play. This is why we all watch. The NBA is about these moments. Now here's George. The three-pointer off the mark. Wimbanyama against Tucker. Wimbanyama scanning the floor on the wing, Jones. To take the lead. Missed it! Locks him up and hauls it in. Love the high activity level. And the Clippers call time here. The Spurs making a switch here. Seven seconds left to play in the fourth quarter of this one. 
And George launches it from deep. Oh, couldn't sink it, and we're going to overtime. Regulation has ended, and we are headed to overtime. And we'll be back with you shortly. And now we get set for overtime in what has been a stirring contest. Here we go. So it's San Antonio now. We've got Zach Collins, Keldon Johnson out there with Wimbanyama. And it's Sohan in at the point guard position. Westbrook, the pass to Plumley. Here's George. Shoots over Johnson. George, no good. Well, the Spurs shooting only 42%. Tucker against Wimbanyama. To take the lead. That shot is off. And George with some nice D. Here's Westbrook. Yes, and it's George picking up the assist. And the Clippers lead by two. What will power from Russell Westbrook doing whatever it takes to find a shot. Time called here. The Spurs decide to talk it over. They're behind by two. A minute 22 left in the first overtime period. Zubats, he's checked in for Los Angeles. And San Antonio with a change here, too. The Cell, he's checked in for Wesley. The Cell passes to Sohan. Here's the Cell, defended by Harden. Outside Johnson. Pass to the Cell to take the lead. Rebound by the Clippers. 103 left in the OT period. Westbrook into the lane. Here's Zubox. Yes! Attacking under pressure. Way to go, Zubox. Zubox has got a perfect three for three so far. The sell against Harden. Pass to Sohan. Drives to the hoop. He's off on the layup. Unusual for him. Just a lack of concentration. Fails to finish the play. And they pick up two. <laughs> and there is no way anybody else is taking that shot. I mean, when it's crunch time on a big possession, Harden is always going to be that guy. Here's Vassell. The Clippers getting their last shot to go. Up again. Controls the rebound timeout, timeout. and the putback. Real smooth, guys. Great job with the tip in. Those are the kind of plays on the offensive glass that can tell you a lot about a player. Timeout called. The Clippers... They're leading by four. 27 seconds left in overtime.
And the Clippers making a change here. Leonard's checked in. And San Antonio also making a switch. Jones is checked in. And now they decide to foul intentionally. Here's George. And they go to the intentional foul. first and that puts him up five second one is good getting both at the line and it's a six-point ball game productive trip to the line extended their lead time called here San Antonio decides to talk it over they trail by six 24 seconds left in the OT period Here's Collins. And a miss there off the inbound. And he commits the intentional foul. Yeah, no choice but to foul in that situation. Although, that's not the guy you want to send to the free throw line. Two shots. Relax on the first. So the first one drops, and that makes it a seven-point lead. Such a versatile guard. James Harden is a triple-double threat every single night. And so both free throws good, and it's an eight-point ball game. Honestly, they're just down by too much to mount a comeback. And you know, disappointment starts to set in a little bit. You fought all night, just wasn't meant to be. And an intentional foul right there. Two shots. Relax on the first. He hits the first one, and that increases the lead to six. So he gets them both. And it's a seven-point game. 
They've been a different squad here in overtime. I'm just not seeing the same energy level. Johnson for three. The shot, no good. This OT has been somewhat lackluster, mainly because both teams are clearly exhausted. So it's the Clippers picking up the win. Things looked a little uneven for them down the stretch, but in overtime, they took control. And B.A., I don't think they expected this one to be so hard fought. But when they went into overtime, they really poured the gas on the fire. All right, Allie's ready to go. She's courtside. Hey, Allie. Russell, this was a high-level back-and-forth basketball game. What's the mentality that got you the win? We're going to get it. We're going to compete at a high level. You, know, you live for games like this as a competitor. Uh, come out and compete, and I know I look forward to it every single time. And we live to watch games like this. Thanks, Russell. All right, Allie, thank you. And that'll wrap it up, folks. For Grand Hill, Steve Smith and Allie LaForce, this is Brian Anderson. Thanks for watching tonight's game. We'll see you next time.